Hey guys, it's Cullen here. In this episode of Factorio Quick Tips, I'm going to talk about building trains, train lines, and how to get them um, fairly quickly. So, the biggest component in all of this is the engine unit. It takes 20 seconds, well, 26 seconds in a blue assembly machine. They take 20 seconds, but the 0.75 crafting speed means it'll take about 26, 27 seconds per craft. And for a train, you need 20 of them. So, yeah, consider that your first priority. Get engine units. Whether it's into a chest that's limited to 50 or so, that's fine, or straight into an assembly machine that's ready to go. Um, and then you've got carriages. They take a fair bit of steel. Not a lot, but, you know, 20 steel is worth a um, hundred iron plate and then you need another 20 so there's 120 iron plate plus 10 gear wheels there's another 20 iron plate so you're looking at 160 iron plate all day by the time you 160 no 140 yeah 140 iron plate to build one if I look here yeah okay so and then you've got track which is basically um, the uh, iron stick, steel, and stone. Um, ever since 0.13, they changed how you place track. So you can only place straight pieces and angled pieces. You can no longer do curves. You need to use the um, the AI system, and that's as simple as clicking on one of the, the green arrow and dragging it out. If you press Q, you'll cancel the mode. You, you can also hold Shift and you'll go into the ghost mode where robots will build it. And you can make your track as long as you want. It will use AI to come out this far. So that's always a an option. I, I don't like the um, ghost mode. I'd rather place, even with personal RoboPort, I don't like ghost mode. I like to build my track. It seems it's not that it doesn't take that long. Um, so yeah, that's the basics of getting a rail started. We should really talk about uh, stations because that is also very basic. Once I clean all this up, so trains need to go between stations. You can do point to point or you can do loops. I much prefer loops because you need less materials for the trains. Um, building a double headed engine, for example, takes twice as much uh, material. But hey, some people have different goals. So you can have station one right here. Test 1, not 12. Okay. And we can send this train to it. If I can click on it, add test 1. Uh, time passed, 30 seconds. That's fine. Automatic. And we can name this, well, that's test 2. But we've got to add a reversing state uh, train. Add some fuel. Done. Now we just add the second station. We test two. Uh, time passed. And so once it's reached its 30 seconds, it'll turn around and go back to this station. It won't turn around, it'll just use this other engine. So it's not as good in my mind as a loop. Um, as the overhead of having double headed trains is just they run slower um, and quite frankly you need bigger stations bigger stations are never the option so yeah I'd much rather run a loop and it's as simple as just connecting it back up Uh, press Q to cancel. We grab that guy. 
Where is it? It went and hit on me. So yeah, and then we can click on here. Change that back to test 2. And then... Automatic. And then it should run around the circle. Don't run on the tracks. You will end up a stain. He'll go to test 2 for 30 seconds and then he'll be, you know, and he'll just continue around the loop. So that's very basic trains. Once you start getting into junctions, we will worry about signals, so I'll do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.